there is a massive fascination in theme park disasters. I've seen this on other people's channels and even my own, um, with some of my most popular videos on my channel being them. Although we are all different people, there is no doubt that we as humans love morbid curiosity. There's a simple but kind of dark reason for this. It's the juxtaposition of the two things, fun and death. How can you go for a fun day at a theme park and never go home due to an unforeseen catastrophe? Unfortunately, this isn't as rare as you'd think and proved to be the case for a 48 year old woman from California whose death sent shockwaves around the world and theme park community and continues to be infamous to this day. It was a few days into the new year on January the 3rd, 1984 when 48 year old Dolly Regina Young along with her friends was visiting Disneyland from Arizona for a catch up and a fun day out. Not much is known about Young but we do know that she was a former Avon lady and was kind and well liked by adults and children in her area. Young and her friends boarded a bobsled at the Matterhorn's base at 3.30pm. The Matterhorn was one of the theme park's most popular rides. The ride is made up of two different tracks that run fairly parallel to one another for most of the trip, finally tangling and diverging at the loading areas, imitating being on a bobsled. Riders wore lap belts in their bobsleds to keep them secure inside. Young sat in the far back, alone and away from her friends. A few minutes into the ride, Young was thrown from the bobsled onto the tracks below. 19 year old witness Helen Pishness screamed. Helen recalled seeing a female bouncing on her back on the back of the tracks. After Young had fallen, she was seen trying to get up, when 30 seconds later, the next bobsled came round the corner. Don Pishner, Helen's father, yelled for his daughter to look away from the horror that was about to happen. When Young was hit by the other bobsled, she was instantly decapitated. Young was hit in the head and body by the bobsled, killing her instantaneously and trapping the bobsled on top of her. When the ride system detected a stuck bobsled, it instantly shut down that section of the ride. The screams alerted one of the workers and he dashed up the mountain and came face to face with the terrifying scene. On his way back down for assistance, he ran across two additional cast members. He told them not to look. Young was pronounced dead on the scene after the police and the paramedics arrived. Detectives in Anaheim immediately launched an investigation. The difference in this case though, however, stems from the fact that there was nothing wrong mechanically with the ride and it hadn't broken down. She simply fell out. The police ruled out foul play and suicide right away, focusing their attention on the seatbelt. Young's seatbelt was open and lying on an empty seat when the police arrived on the scene. Young could not have left the start of the ride with her belt undone, according to Disney officials, because it was standard procedure for the workers to check guests twice to ensure they were fastened in. The family of Regina went on to sue Disneyland as they believed the incident happened due to neglect. The family sued for $5 million and came to an undisclosed agreement in March 1998. It is still argued about today whether the victim purposely unbuckled her seatbelt or if the seatbelt had failed. The Matterhorn was up and running again the next day after the fatal accident. Officials from Disneyland said the ride had been inspected for flaws and they had found none, so it was safe to operate. She was the fifth person to die at Disneyland. Hi guys, um, it's been a while so I thought I would give a channel update before we go into the new year. Uh, I know it's been a while since I've uploaded properly but that's because my work is so busy around this time of year um, and I've literally just not really had the time. Uh, as I'm talking now I currently have Covid uh, which sucks because I won't be able to see anyone at Christmas but it is what it is. Uh, I've literally just got the PCR back so I've been uh, tested positive today so it's not really hit me yet. I've got a bit of a sore throat and a cough but that is literally it at the moment uh, so I'm, <laughs> I'm hoping it doesn't get too bad um, funnily enough it actually gave me the kick to make this video uh, as I'm stuck in the house so yeah it is what it is um, thanks everyone for a good first year on YouTube um, and I hope to get up to and I hope, well I hope to get regular uploads back again in 2022 so I hope everyone has a good Christmas and New Year and I will hopefully see you then. Thanks and take care.